This week on Entertaining People, it's weeknight dinner on the run. I'm gonna show you how two busy professionals really mix it up in the kitchen and get it done in just a few minutes. Don't miss it. I'm Porter William, and I've been entertaining, event planning, and cooking for over 25 years. Finally, I get to share my secrets with you. No matter if you have a one-room apartment or a grand-scale estate, we'll learn how to entertain from San Francisco to the beaches of Spain, from menu planning to tablescapes, I'll teach you how to entertain from the heart. From a memory, make a memory. Join me as we entertain the world one table at a time, next on Entertaining People. I'm Porter William and this is Entertaining People. My good friend Stephanie is back. You may have seen her on another show of ours. I don't remember what we were cooking. What were we cooking last time? It was time? French food and it was fabulous. It was Winter in Provence. Yes, it was. Yes, winter it was. Provence. It was Winter in mm -hmm. Provence. That was, you know, so many people have made those shanks. It's really yes. good. That is a perfect example of a meal that takes a long, long time to cook. Tonight, it's about who we really are. Really busy professionals, just like all you soccer moms out there, all you single folks. This is how we get weeknight dinner on the run out every single night. I'm going to show you how to do this dinner that's presentable for two people. It's just going to be you and I this okay. time. Or for the exact same meal. There's enough food to go around. This is just a cinnamon apple biscuit bake. Take a pie tin and these prepared biscuits. Put some, we actually, can you open up that bag of apples? Apple? Once again, prepared, there's some nice. sugars. Okay. What do we do without these great prepared foods? Perfectly sliced apples, cored, sometimes peeled. These have some peels on them. I like to just dump them. Okay, the whole bowl, yeah. the whole bag? Yeah, I like okay. it. If not, we'll just eat them later. Perfect. I mean, it's weeknight on the run. Because this takes the longest, the philosophy stays the same, whether you're entertaining for 10, 15, or two. Start with the item that takes the longest to cook. And today it's gonna to be our biscuit. Sounds so wonderful. I'm doing a little bit heavier than a pie pan, but I want you to sweeten those. Give me okay. some brown sugar here. Let me get you a spoon. Okay. A couple tablespoons. And also cinnamon is really good. Right. Just gonna, we're just gonna to toss them in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of white sugar right on the top. Get that in there. Okay. Brown and white. I like that caramel flavor that comes with that. As with all good things, butter is the culprit. <laughs> flavor is, is It's in all there. in the flavor. Can you get it? Do you need another spoon? No, this That's is perfect. perfect. Okay. So you want these uh, crystallized and kind of coated and crunchy. Oh, all ready to go. Here's the trick. Mom taught me one biscuit in. Okay. And then apple slices. Okay. I'm going to just kind of let you build this as we go. And then a biscuit. I see. And apple slices. Okay. All right? Two and two. I can handle that. And I'm going to come right behind you with a nice cube of butter. Okay. And what we do is we drop just a single little pad kind of right on here. Just break them up and just dab the butter across the top. Let me see if I can get this uh, bad boy open right here. Hold on, guys. There we go. That was always fun yeah. as a kid. <laughs> I remember that as a kid. Only in America did we end up learn how to get bread in it. I know, what a concept. Soup. One of my favorite cheats on a savory biscuit is just to take a homemade biscuit like that. In fact, you know what? Let's do it tonight. These are going okay. in. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves some biscuits. I'm going to use some of the salt. Your salt. Let's mm -hmm. do the porcini. Ooh, that sounds All right. interesting. Right in there. And then I'm going to reach, long reach, a little herb to pull on. And now we're going to have an herb biscuit. Let's just put it back together. I'm going to give a separate pan for us for those. Perfect. All right, I'll keep okay. going with those. You keep going with those. Do you want me to build sweets? this in here this yeah, way? Yeah, let's just go right around the center. Okay, gotcha. Just kind of flaking up the biscuit. Okay. Put cheese on there. Put the herbs to pee. Okay. Over here and grab another one. Great. I didn't plan any bread tonight, so. Wonderful, that works out perfect. I'm gonna keep okay. dabbing the butter. butter. Give me a little more brown sugar over the top. Okay. I'm going to pop these in the oven okay. right now. We're going to let these go. Per the instructions on the package, these will be ready in probably about 20 minutes. They'll all be puffed up and gooey with all the sugars rolling and I'm just going to do an herb roasted potato. Okay, perfect. And uh, again, these newly packaged ones are even better. They even can pick up a good Yukon, but these are already washed okay. and ready to roll. I will chop them. If you will season them, okay. Um, you haven't tried this one yet. This is a great Spanish olive oil that I found. Yeah, I think you're gonna like this because I know you like dressing. I do. Can you get any of that uh, in there? Yeah. Okay, hang on to that. Oh, fresh. And I'm gonna need you to um, get prep me some rosemary skewers. Okay. Right. 
Get that little finger in there. Look at that. Oh, that's my finger. <laughs> that's the uh, finger these, are, these are so buttery on the inside. The first time I had these, of course, in Europe, but now we've got everything in the States. We don't have to go so far. So I'm just going to kind of quarter. That should do okay. it. Never without my, uh, salt. my gray salt. So, so what are we going to use, the gray salt? Yeah, let's just go with the gray on okay. this because, I mean, that rosemary is going to kick in. Okay. And how about a teeny bit of just minced garlic? Okay. Let me give you a spoon to stir. Oh, so this is also uh, something, a shortcut you can use. Uh, yeah, I use it, in fact, almost okay. all this season. I'm using the mint stuff just because it's ready. Okay. The flavor is just as good. I mean, come on, there's nothing better than a real garlic clove. Okay. There's two if you want to mix it up. All right. When we're doing speed scratch, and this is weeknight on the run here, mm -hmm. with entertaining people, then uh, we want things to be as quick and as easy while you're stirring those. Oh, smells good. Yeah, it smells good. I'm gonna check on biscuits. When we come back, I'll have our chicken, our main dish ready, and uh, these are gonna go right onto a cookie sheet. Okay. Into the oven, okay? Okay. I'll see this as soon as we get back. I'll say we'll, we'll be right back. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Mm. So the little garlic really brought it out. It really does. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think it's some black pepper. Okay. These are going in the oven. Just spill these out right here, and I'm gonna since that's it. Stop right there. Cool. You're good. One more. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Now I needed a place for my impromptu savory ah, biscuits, and always those biscuits go on an ungreased cookie sheet. Okay. So we'll just spread these out evenly. Now the edges are gonna get all toasted. I like these at about 400. Okay. I think the biscuits call for something like that as well. Okay. You're gonna get the scent of the rosemary coming through with those potatoes. Yeah. Now usually the golden rule is never put something sweet and savory in the oven at the same it. time. But if your house is like my house, yeah, you have one. Yeah. And if you ever had rosemary and apple together, Ooh, if yeah, that gets nice together, it's not yeah. gonna be a big deal. Yeah. It's not gonna be a big deal. No. Oh, that's our main course. Um, All right. Oh, so let's do some asparagus. Okay. I got us a, a bundle, it's in season. You know how I love it, Northern California. I do too. We're gonna look for the woody the part and the tender part, right there, about there. We're gonna set these on my block, you snap them, I'll chop okay. them. We're gonna have a good serving, but you know what we're gonna do with the leftovers? Okay. How about a cold asparagus salad, maybe the next Ooh, night? Just get some idea. all Italian dressing, put it over that. Chill the leftovers tonight, you can have a cold asparagus salad. I'll take it to lunch. All right, so I'm gonna do a mom cut in the summer, what she always did, like a bias. Okay. Just, you know, just a little bit of drama. Everybody knows that this is where all the vitamins and minerals and everything are. They really want really good things. All the tips of the asparagus. Also, we're talking about a good asparagus tip and a bad one. These are perfect. Okay. You know the difference, yeah. right? Yeah, you want them kind of tight together? Or? Absolutely okay. tight together. If they're opened up in the store and they're at all dark or mushy, don't buy them. You don't want them. That asparagus has had better days. But these are perfect. Just going to pop them in here. Okay. Give me some olive oil. All right. Yeah. Let's snap that one. I like being able to, when I bite in, to get the tops okay. and then the bottoms without the, without the wooden ends. There's nothing worse than biting into a woody stalk of asparagus. I mean, it's like dental floss in your teeth, and there's no reason. First burner. Okay. Get that going. Whoops, there goes our wine ready. Beautiful. Okay, you stay Gorgeous there with color. that. We have a jelly bot chicken. You have a great meat market. They'll pull a rotisserie chicken right out the back of that paper for you. I'm going to take this store bought bird. Right there on my block, and I'm going to show you a little secret when it comes to keeping it moist. Truth be told, sometimes they get in the case, the yellow case, a little too long, and they can be dry. So what I like to do is I like to take the juice drippings in the bottom. How's it going? That's okay. hot. Keep turning that. And I like to add just a little bit of water, okay. and then I'm going to put that back in the bottom of my pan. I already have a chicken broth. I'm just going to use some Pyrex on there. Set that aside. You can go through a chicken in a few different ways. You can use your knife and have trouble, or you can get yourself a good set of poultry shears. You should be strong and gutsy, all right? We're going to go through the bone. This is playing medical school in the kitchen. <laughs> what we're talking about. So find the back end of this, and there's that backbone right across the breast. And you want to go straight through that, and then right through the bottom there, I'm going through the back snip. That's why you need poultry shears. And there's usually a little rubber band or a string. There it is. We want to make sure we pull that out. We don't want to have anybody fighting for that. A quality deli will make sure that that string is colored so you can see it and it doesn't just disappear. See, I almost put that down and I saw the red string. That's there for a reason. Turn that piece over. There you go. Let me get that last string out. It's around the wing and under the legs. All right? There are two chicken halves. 
If it's a small family of four, go ahead and quarter it. That way you'll have the dark quarter and the light quarter. But just because it's Steph and I, I'm gonna actually do the entire section. So I'm gonna lay them right in this casserole. Notice how I've managed to keep the skin intact. There's the hollow cavity. I'm putting that on the liquid so that when it heats, it kind of steams it from the inside and okay. it'll keep it moist. If you put a rotisserie chicken right into the oven, it's gonna dry out. I mean, it's already, you know, it's already been to the movie been once. Cooking. So to keep that uh, from happening, let's go with some olive oil. Olive oil yeah, actually, the paprika. Ooh. So what's probably on here from the deli? It looks like there might already be some right. paprika. So all I'm gonna there. do is repeat the spice or the flavor or the color that's already there and it's gonna fake everyone out, just like you, you were faked out. <laughs> okay. I thought you could this all this. day long. For yeah. a little paprika, I'm gonna, you know, just do a little assistance. Uh, that's, the of, uh, that's what it is. We're gonna add some pepper to that. All right, big secret, right? Brand new invention here in America, a little bit of oil. Everything is going to the same oven. And about this time, for me, when it's weekend on the run, there's something like Seinfeld on or somebody dream of Genie and maybe a little Bewitch or something. Yep, you know? that great yeah, memory. it's just gonna take us probably 20 minutes to heat this all through. Perfect. So I'm gonna pop it in and then uh, we will work on, look at the apples are coming up. I smell the biscuits right there. Just take those out, give okay. them a shake. Those biscuits are on their Looking way. Looking good. When we come back, this stuff's gonna come out. You're gonna see Steph and I have weeknight on the run. Sounds all perfect. Right. We'll see you right back here. This week on Entertaining People, it's weeknight dinner on the run. I'm gonna show you how two busy professionals really mix it up in the kitchen and get it done in just a few minutes. Don't miss it. Let's just do a salad here. Okay. Um, you're like the queen of the dressings. I just have a, some romaine that I had left over and you always wanna get the brown edges off. So I'm gonna take that big hunk right off the top. What do you want for your dressing? Uh, let's do, what do you have? Olive oil over there. Of Ask and you acid. shall receive. What kind of acid do we Acid? Have? This is a sherry vinegar. Uh, Smell that and tell me what you think. I'm just going to do a oh, chopper. You want to do that? Nice. Okay, go yeah. with that olive oil and some acid. Yeah. I'm That's just chopping my romaine up. I like nice big bites. I don't like the small pieces when it comes to romaine. We could have done this, I guess, frond by frond. But do you like the tops? I do. Like yeah, the yeah tops, I like the green in there. I, I think like it mixes greener. it up. Yeah. Okay, so what do you got going on? I've just got the olive oil and garlic. Yep. Oh, that sounds perfect. Yeah, let's just do whatever. Nice. Tell me when. Oh, Four. I know you. You're going to tell me never to stop. Yeah, I love garlic. Yeah. We're both eating it, so it cancels out. That's perfect. How about that? It'll work. Well, that's it. This is good. <laughs> and I think we're going to need a little bit more olive oil. Yeah, keep going. more olive oil in there. Let me go ahead and leave that fold down. Oh, there we go. We've got a good mix on that. Okay, garlic and pepper. Yep. Pepper in there. Okay, this is a try. So this is a red, green, okay. and white. Okay, mix it, mix it. That'll work. How's it going? Smells good. Good. That's so really good. What color? Pick your salt. Oh my goodness. You know Just what? Just too I know. I love the gray. Uh, what do we have here? This though? is a Hawaiian red. Ooh. Let's try it. Let's red give it a salt. Try. Okay. There we go. Let's oh, just it's set nice. It. Good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. I think that's that going to good. do it. Okay, now, yep. so we don't wilt. I'm going to have you transfer that over okay. to a small bowl. We'll just put it on right before we go to the Sounds table. Perfect. How's that? Yep. That looks good. Okay. Now, not wilting doesn't mean that you can't use the dirty portion of the bowl on the bottom. We just don't want it overly dressed. So I'm going to just put our mine in here, leave it in the fridge. Okay, biscuits. We weren't even inspecting them. There we go, the rosemary. That was just about the perfect timing. Any more, we probably would have burnt those up. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over. I'm gonna leave that okay. board on the block right here. Those perfect. Look yummy. They look good. Why don't you give us each a, a few of those potatoes? Okay. Chicken is coming out. The chicken that we worked on all day long. Woo! Now, see the steam? That means it's moist. Smell. Step, smell. Oh. Smells Woo. just like a perfect. Get that little guy in there. Okay. Rotisserie chicken, oh, oh nice goodness, and hot. That looks good. Look at that. All right, now there's another trick that you can do if you'd like, but I think we're good at this point. You could remove the foil, put it under the broiler, and then let the skin get crispy. really crispy. But that extra Hungarian paprika really made a difference on there, and I'm not gonna grab that because that one's hot. Let's check on our dessert. Oh, perfect timing. As I said, um, if you plan it. There's mom's Look biscuits and apples. That's <laughs> Every day we can. Okay, in real time, Amazing. that took nothing. Yeah, 400. I'm so excited about right that. Right on there. Let's get in there and just grab. You're getting a whole half. Oh my now, goodness. Now I'm gonna plate this for a little color. 
which means I want to separate the monotones. We have a monotone in the potato and a monotone in the chicken. And how am I going to separate that for flavors? I'm going to do that with my other colorings. Please, use my soup. Uh, yeah, I just want to bright right when it right when it goes to the table. If I had carrots or asparagus, tonight it's asparagus. how vibrant that now, is. Now, if we set that next to each other, we wouldn't have the same effect. It's just so visually appealing. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy. Little runaway rogue That's guy. exactly what the asparagus should look like. <laughs> Shiny, glossy, tender. Hang on. Vibrant and green. Perfect. I hate a mushy asparagus. Oh, uh, I do too. Gotta be a little here the crunch. Yeah. That's what you want. A little bit more. Are you eating tonight? I am eating tonight. Not this looks rare, yeah. wonderful. I'm hungry. I love asparagus. I love yeah. Okay. The tips Let's are the... Yeah. Don't bring your lip. All right. Yeah. Go for it. It's all yours. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, help me out. Weeknight on the run. That lemon. Life with, yeah, that's all you need at the very last nice, second. Very nice. A biscuit, a savory week. Herbs of Provence. Smells good. Out of the can. Thank you very much. That looks beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take these to the table. We'll bring our salad bowls with us. Okay, I'll grab right, the salad the and the dressing. Reaction. And uh, let's go ahead. Just, let's, let's, can we just eat in the kitchen tonight? That sounds perfect. Let's just see in the kitchen. <laughs> We've Come done on. enough work. We've done enough. <laughs> Now available on DVD. Or go to entertainingpeople.com. From parties to formal dinners, brunches to beach parties, the menus are endless. Perfect gift idea and a great reference tool so you can throw all the parties with you on the show. Click on DVD or email DVD at entertainingpeople.com. We did it. We cooked it together. Here's a little Madoc. I know that you like red. I do. And as far as our tablescape in this episode, because it was such a quick night, I think the easiest trick is just to grab what's handy on a weeknight. Got some place mats and um, just regular glasses. And I'm always up for a glass of water on a weeknight. <laughs> we can start with that. So we have our roasted chicken. It looks good, Steph. It looks beautiful. Look, look at your asparagus. I'm excited. Let's and weeknight is a paper napkin night. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll take it. Yeah, the asparagus looks good. It does. That. Okay, and our, our biscuit on the fly. We're gonna try that. I'm going right in. But you know what? Can I get some salad dressing Absolutely. from you? Absolutely. You do this now. If you look at my tablescape, you'll see that I have two bowls here. I know that sounds redundant, but when we're done with our salad, I'm just gonna take it off. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh, this so this was a sherry, and we had a few things going on. Sherry. Sure, we put that special salt in there. Yeah. The, uh, the Hawaiian. Yeah. We went for the Hawaiian. That's enough for me. I like things heavily dressed, typically, with the salad, but I try to keep it light on the weekend. <laughs> that way you've got something to look for with. All right, now, when, right when this came out, I just added a little bit oh, of wine wonderful. for a pan sauce. With the rotisserie chicken that's coming from the deli, if you have any amount of dryness, remember that broth that we put in the yeah. bottom? I just created it. Okay. Just bring it up a little bit of butter, whip it together. Not only will it heat it up, but if it's slightly dry, it does happen on a deli uh, chicken where you've got a little, little pan sauce. The easiest sauce in the world is a pan sauce because all the love, the bits, and the flavor is all, is all the bottom. Let's go. I can't, I can't stand it. Okay, we're going for the dark. I'm going right, right into the right dark. Right for the way. Absolutely. God bless mm -hmm. the, uh, the deli. How's the sauce? Mm -hmm. Try your little herb fingerling. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, those are butter. Good to taste how soft those are. Mm -hmm. so, this the is how they really eat at home. Nothing too fancy. Mm -hmm. Just have a little uh, 1980s reruns and uh, Sounds perfect. <laughs> sit down, try to uh, undo the day to get ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, this is yummy. Jack, try the salad dressing that you made. Really good. Should never leave home without a good solid recipe for a basic vinegar wrap. That was perfect. I want to get right into that side. Look how tender that is. Mm. Heat it up beautifully. Didn't even take this. The rolls are wonderful. Mm -hmm. I just went off my plate. Let's try it. For a stopping up that. Yeah. In fact, I think I want a little bit more of my juice in there. Mm. Just get it home. Mm. Not butter on the table, but. Mm. That's perfect. Yummy. Wow, that's great. Let's try. Really good. It's a ruin you. <laughs> it was 5 a.m. at the gym. It'll be 4 a.m. Yes. I'm coming at you. There we go. Mm. And you know what? That's so good right over the potatoes. Mm. 
let's add a little bit of that pan Love sauce. It. There you go. Delicious. All right, let's hit the asparagus tips. Tips and bottom. The texture is perfect. Not munchy. No. Not cool. crunchy, I mean. They are very munchy. Mm -hmm. They're not mushy. They're uh, nice and nice bite to them. You did a great job on this. Thank you. It was quite easy. easy. Quite easy. It's going to be tasty. Pardon my Yum. finger. Does that look oh, good? That All right, so good. a big scoop of ice cream would be good. That'd be perfect with, with this. this. Mm -hmm. Well, weeknight is always an early night at my house. I, I know yours too. Mm -hmm. That last chapel was great. All the recipes, everything. It's at entertainingpeople.com. Tips, tricks, techniques, everything you need to do to just do this weeknight dinner. Everybody can eat well on a weeknight. Shop your grocer, talk to your deli guy. Life's so much easier that way. Hey, go online too. Send me an email and tell me what your weeknight dinners are like. I love that. From a memory, you can make a memory just like the apple pie or the apple and biscuits and everything that I had as a kid. Until next time, I'm Porter William and I'll be entertaining the world one table at a time.